start the the recording hello everyone uh, today we have uh, 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 the <laughs> Jean effect kitty mop we have four people in uh, and we can free we have only Zaz who doesn't really participate so let's just watch it try to analyze maybe Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well. What do you think? How he could do it faster? Any ideas? I see, I see a lot of ideas. Oh, he didn't use the overbounce at the end. I wonder if that's faster or slower. Uh, I think slower. If he didn't, or he didn't find it, I don't know. Because you can get like 1200 from the start after overbounce. I guess it's faster to push it down instead of overbounds. You have to test it and then you will like figure out. Yeah, I don't know. Overbounds. Didn't play Wake Up 3. Yeah, it's the same for CPM though. Well, in CPM it's uh, even more speed, I guess, if you will use rockets instead. But yeah, in Wiki 3 it seems like no overbounds is faster. Alright, we have no kitty <laughs> here. Here is a short review, like five minutes. Okay, we just gonna watch and that's it. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Oh, she didn't know BQ3 how to turn style. yet. Yeah, yeah. We have to talk to her about like how to turn. Oh, no rockets here. Oh. I don't know. In general, it's good. I don't. Since there is no kitty. Uh, there is no reason to talk about this demo, I guess. Or, like, I mean, I can try to find it, but. Start is good, like, even smooth. Double jump, I mean, not, not the jump, but rocket, double, uh, rocket and ramp, good. The out of cube. She could done like rocket earlier, which will give her maybe like a second or something, right? And at the ramp, maybe she could have like uh, went uh, not all the way up. Yeah. 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 Looked like a comfort thing, like just didn't know like where the platform started. Yeah, probably. No grand boost at the start. How? Yeah, what a shame, Kitty. What the fuck? Grand boost when? Alright, 10 seconds. Toots. Let's see. Alright, alright. Alright, alright. Alright, alright. Ah, ah, ah. Right. Uh, 9 seconds. <laughs> alright, alright. Uh, so what? Uh, like the start is good, I guess it it's can. It's a little be, slow, right? Yeah, yeah, it can be faster, but it's a question of mechanics, I guess. Right? Or like question of time more? Maybe I don't know. Yeah, I'm probably a bit of both, right? Like I, I think I had higher speeds coming in, but I think I just had. I was trying too many different permutations. Um, like I was trying to do a ground boost like later, the first one like later, more in the middle of the point behind start, and it like it would put me deeper in certain parts of the corner, and then like a little bit shallower. So I think like probably just couldn't get anything consistent besides mm. this. Yeah, this is pretty much the real route, I think. Like. Uh... You have to get scheme, you have to get the the most straight 
uh, how 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 it calls trajectory. Yes, thank you. So yeah, and we can see like by this jump, we can see there is there is a lot of gap, so you can mm -hmm. like speed up even more. And since scheme kind of uh, keeping you back like this like slow you down right in terms mm -hmm. of position in the space you can get even more if you will get the uh the, the bigger scheme which means you can get better double jump which means you can get like the better the rest of the map because you will go up faster and this is the main reason you have to go up faster here as fast as possible you will still use like i feel like at any speed you will still use like two rockets one on the ramp and second of the wall and i mean uh, on the wall and here right so it is like ramp but well, i'm not sure though probably i'm wrong i'm not, I'm not sure i don't remember this route i tried it at first and um it was like it was better to go really fast without skim and actually double jump the left side of the of the of the ramp mm. so you go higher like you go really high up very fast and then you can just shoot the rocket be like behind but this mm. like it's it's slow because like um you leave around 600 ups which I thought like I could do like it, you could do better than that, and you are stuck in the air. You can't shoot any rockets anywhere. Right. So, yeah, it's. Mm. Well, I guess at this point, if you if you're going high enough, you can also use a rocket on the roof. So it will gain speed and also drop uh, down faster, right? I, I actually tried to that that's why I changed the the route for that ramp because I couldn't actually shoot the roof. If I shoot the roof, when I reach the floor is gonna be too like it's gonna be too late for the next rocket. So it's gonna be slower in the next section. Yeah, my timing was a lot harder when I tried to go off the roof. Yeah. <laughs> Here you could do ground boost with rocket, not just jump. It will give you much more. You can try it. Though. You can you can you can save uh, since you're you're high enough. You have a good speed. Like I'll I'll say easy uh, the the perfect speed for getting this ground boost uh, as easy as possible. If you're interested. In uh, interested to do the ground boost from the floor you can try to save yourself in the air and try this out here it will yeah be okay practice, uh... i had a few runs where i did it but i just none that worked out at the end oh wait you you actually did on the what it was thd speed run right yeah 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 and here you'll you reach for the left wall you could have gone for the right wall, which is closer, and you had a faster rocket. But I felt like uh, what I would have to kind of go out still from the away from that obstacle, like the ball thing, and then come back in and wrap around right. You're saying you can ground boost to the wall directly. You don't need to actually. I, ha I have a demo that does that. Yeah, here you can ground boost to the right. The right. Ah, uh, uh, I okay. don't think yeah. to the right is a good idea. Mm. Because if you will have much higher speed, it means wait, did I prepare the the paint? Right, do we see paint? Yes, we do. The paint on stream? Yes, we do. Cool. So. This is the room, uh, kind of, right? And you go in, like, if you, 
like you're you're kind of in the center if you do if you have low speed it can make sense and especially if you do ground boost somewhere that n a bit more near to the right wall so it will be like that but if you're in the center and have higher speed your curve will be just much bigger and I feel like with even higher speed you will land later or you will not even land if you if you do some different rockets let's say you jumped before and then it's a even different story because you can do uh firstly i really doubt you can you can lay uh cut corner that well so it will s stick with the right wall i don't think it's a thing i mean yeah it's how, it's how very hard to do i i i did it did 9.9 .9 with this route going to the right wall but i couldn't go faster than that because uh, i want to hit the wall above the the ceiling and when you hit the ceiling you go way too much to the center like you say and it's way too far so yeah i mean in uh, in many many i guess well not in many well, how to say let's say the you, you don't really you don't really have to aim to the right wall i guess let's say like that because if if you're taking a map like a uh let's say the memory and if you will come back to this map and you used to use right wall here but later when you come back to this map you have a and and you have a higher skill you will get trouble to remember what you actually did you will struggle a bit you will waste some time it's and you will i guess uh well in not in terms of like 10 seconds map for sure you can find a road easily with new speeds but usually uh you want to try think ahead and if you know that if you have more speed you anyway go into the left wall just use to get to the left wall from the start that's what i want to say you know me i i, I never thought about that you you're actually right you're you're right about this well, i'm always right <laughs> uh -huh. i mean in most cases but yeah it's it's not really about this map it's more like a general rule but if you imagine like even like 30 seconds map that complicated and you using the uh, let's say you uh, the faster people going like that well let's uh, uh, all right we will not clear that and you go uh like that and you feel comfortable with this route it even works on strafe i guess so people don't go that wide for no reason right even if, if it's strafe it means there is better zones and maybe you have to find out what zones like snap zones mm -hmm. or like there is some different reason for this if you're talking about weapons so we have to like whether if you will meet the actual example of this but in general yeah uh, i think you have to just assume if you will have a better speed you will go to the left wall so let's let's just get used to the left wall because uh once you will get more speed you will just kind of just uh, miss the orientation in space you will you will don't know what to do but if you are used to get if you're used to the left wall you already kind of know what obstacles there what like what's what's next you know yeah, yeah it's like um i understand um yeah i, ne I never minded the going left or right it's just depending on the map but it makes sense for more speed is better on the left wall oh yeah So, you're saying you can go through here? You tried to? No. Huh. 
Oh wait, uh, you you don't say and you go through here. You say and, yeah. Uh, yeah. I was yeah, saying that's why I didn't because I think maybe we were talking about different like parts like earlier versus here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So here is kind of no questions, I guess. So yeah, you you bump in the right wall, so you'll cut some speed and get in the uh, the ground boost, which is slower. The attempt is good. Like, let's see, let's see this. Ooh, it was good. It was good. Even though this rocket gave you like seventy UPS, but it's alright. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a good attempt, you know. Sometimes you have to do that. So it's a it's a good practice anyway. But the other thing, I don't know. Did did you test if if you will just try to go just with rockets if it's faster? Yeah, I did. I did both. I don't think I had like a stable enough route throughout this whole week to like no for sure um because like my spacing going into it would change and i think like the the main thing i wanted to do there i think was just get something that was more consistent because when i did try and go off the back wall like i would hit something on the side or like my height would be wrong and i would just like bonk something super hard there so that's like i think that's why i wound up with something that that had the ground boost in it but i definitely tried both did you know that uh, you can walk below, right? Like you can go through. Yeah, yeah, but like I just mean like my my jump spacing when I came down sometimes was just a little messed up. Like sometimes I could get through clean though. Well, so th there is, I guess, for you and uh, well, let's uh, we will see the city demo and mechanic demo too, but. Uh, f for all of you, I can say like you're pretty high skill already. I mean, like uh, the higher than average, right? And uh, if you, let's say, if you know going down with rockets faster, but you have to find the right spacing so it will go through, you have to find this spacing. You have to. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I, I don't mean like you have to. Uh, like try hard and uh, try and like I don't know uh, you know I mean oh fuck I lost <laughs> I mean you uh, it's not about the finding the spacing it's about the having a control of your of what are you doing especially with weapons because with weapons it's super important if you if you will get consistency with weapons you'll be you'll become a god because then you can do like anything you want and you can try many more, much more different routes if you will get cons consistent control of your high or like speed or whatever with weapons. You know what I mean? But this, yeah. Like this part on this map is especially important for that because there is there is always you you could say there is always different outcome, right? Because you have different speed, different high for sure because of speed and. Uh, there is many many other uh, reasons can be why the spacing is different, but you have to control that. And yeah. I'm not saying you can go through every time for sure. Like since this is a different, there is like even circle jump cannot be super consistent, right? But the you have to you have to be able to control, let's say yourself through the map so you can do non-consistent things with more consistency i don't know you, you can say it on on the french english i th i think the so other that. thing here too is that like you get closer to the finish line too if you just go right off the wall right like you can like start you can get more distance earlier like forward speed instead of having to like wait and straight forward before you hit the ground. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's it's because the um uh, it's because the finish line close enough, I guess. If it will be uh, yes, probably yeah. if it will be f uh, more far, how to say more far in farther. In way, far, farther. <laughs> if if it yes. will be farther, it, it's a different story, I guess. Still, it can be not so good to use a or bounce, right? But but probably 
you finish will be farther. There is a, a more reasons to test this thing, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. I hope everyone d does. <laughs> yeah. Hello, YouTube. Just... You do. Right. Yeah. Demo is good in general. I'm. 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 Let, let's be honest. I'm. I'm uh, kind of disappointed that Toots got the don't got the sub ten and mechanic and city beat team. I'm pretty sure if if Toots will spend a bit more time on this map, he will be able uh, be around at least right of their times. I, and... Those guys are killers, man. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> All right. Mihanik. Yeah, two rockets. Roof rocket. Ah, there is a mistake. We can talk about it. Oh, and that's is, this is good. This is good. All good. Oh, we have to. Oh, me, oh. I'm so glad you joined us, Mihanik. You expect something bad? Right, so this start for sure, as as in Toots case, we can say start can be much better because also your chop super far from the ramp, so we already talked about it. I do like the idea of two rockets here, so you kind of delay this shot. Yeah, otherwise you will bump into the corner. Yeah. You just can't. And then yeah. you shoot here. Nice. So, yeah, so nice here, one. here is, here is the rule, works rule from the uh, previous map, from the previous review about Patsibashka is always better. Always, in in uh, in CPM at least, it's al almost always better, because, so what's happening here? You're you're already losing control, kind of. You want to get a scheme, right? You want to get a a more speed yeah, you yeah. do rocket uh, behind and you start turning just here you, you and and uh, it's too late and you already bump in the wall and lose like 300 speed and i can say well, you're too high well yeah and you you're too high so what you can do i mean you know what you can do right Oh, tell me, tell me. Ah, you fired. <laughs> so the yeah, the uh, I had money. attempts where I was like uh, much lower, and I got mm, much more speed, and then like I skipped, like did almost ma minus one jump there. But I don't know. This map was like so inconsistent for me. I just couldn't Damn. at the average stage, like even the start the fucking double jump and this uh, roof rocket it, it was all so inconsistent that i probably was was reaching this part of the map like only one out of five times it's good it's good i mean uh, that's what we just talked about uh, we have to <coughs> you have to gain control of yourself like of what to do what angles what speed what spacing, etc. You have to get controls. Control, I mean. So practice, practice, practice. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, just practice time, I guess. Well, it's it's not just practice time in terms of like just playing. You have to play in difficult map. Otherwise, you will be always like I don't know at the, at the same level, pretty much. You know, uh, let's say not not at the same level, but if you're playing like easy easy maps only, let's say you will grow and gain skills much slower than the guy who will play only difficult maps. All right. So uh, uh, if you will do Potsibashka here, you will get firstly after Potsibashka. Let's say happened here because you cannot pre you, you cannot turn start turning earlier because you will bump this uh, corner right. So let's say you start turning from here, and 
in in case of Potsibashka, you don't have to move your mouse around. You you you're in a you in a stable angle, right? And you have more control of of your positioning, and you will not bump the wall that hard. Maybe you still will will bump the wall, but not that hard. Not three hundred speed, even like almost four hundred. And I even think like if you're you, if you're that high, you can try to jump there. I'm sure it is fucking super inconsistent thing because there is like a bunch of rumps. But you can try to jump there and stay high enough and start dropping early. No? How about that? Yeah, I probably should have just put one more rocket at the left. Uh or, yeah, or yeah, yeah, you you could you could intentionally go high, so you will reach the end of the floor uh, with some high. <sighs> so yeah, but yeah, it's a kind of waste. But the finish here is good. Yeah. Yeah, finish is good. Mechanic. Oh no, let's let's see right. one more time. So yeah, the the main thing here, how we can improve if you will ever play this map again, put Sibashka here. If you do put Sibashka here, and you'll start. Uh, even though you, you can. Don't do pot Sebastia, but you can do ground boost. Because all you need just connection rocket with your uh, hitbox. And you can s still like... For sure, you, like while you are here, like let's say in, in between of pots, you will gain no speed. But it still can be better and faster because you can slick maybe with better rocket from the roof or like in... Better case, let's say, if you shoot early, you slick a bit here and slick a bit here, and you're not that high. So you can get, you, you can put more rockets. Yeah, I just my... need to practice my potsidashkas more. Yeah, yeah. We, we'll get there. We'll get some map. The next map will be straight, though. We're gonna chill. Yeah, in, in general, all good. I do like the finish. I feel like c c city have pretty much same, huh? Let's see. Ah, different start. But yeah, yeah, it's slower, and it's uh, it's a bit more speed at the f on the line. Let's call it like that, and it was. Overbounds. But what I don't like, since we got a chance, so you shoot <clears throat> a rocket. Uh, let's. It's a. It's a draw time. The, the school class of drawing of art. So this is. Oops. Uh. Let's do like that. So your path will be green. You shoot here, and then you shoot here, right? Yeah, something like that. This is the start, right? This is the start. Well, I shouldn't write it down, but it's okay. Uh, so. You doing jump? You are going like that, and this the the oh, all right. Let's uh, <laughs> come on, Woody. You know English. The so uh, can right. Let's do it like uh, on the real class. Can someone uh, tell why this is not good? Why this start not good? 
from the basic and i like you were asking why is not good yeah why is not good can someone tell uh, me the line uh, to to go right for the for the right side of the of the ramp is going to be harder and yeah but i can explain why i did this because i i found out about like early rocket and then like at the at the line where the where the trigger is you shoot another rocket and you go straight i tried that as well but it was slower because when i go mm -hmm. like 1500 for after the second rocket i can like go around 1500 and it was for some reason easier to do than early rocket so you're saying these like shooting let's say here and here was slower uh Wait. slower speed yeah i disagree i had pretty much like 14 even 1500 in the same rope where would you put the red marks so the speeds are pretty much the same well yeah I mean, it's a question of mechanics, I guess, but it's a different question. Why, why this, why the green start not good? Can someone tell? Huh? Maybe Toots? We talked about it with Toots uh, many times, I think. Like, uh oh. Um, uh oh. <laughs> well, yeah, so I mean, so you're saying aside from the line, just from like those two ground boosts only? Or like yeah, we're ignoring yeah, yeah, the yeah. line. I, yeah, yeah, we're ignoring the line. We are talking white. Uh, the shooting. Well, yeah, let's let's clean the line. It will not like destroy. I mean, it, is part about the, of it that you just get better speed coming before the starting line? Like you can accelerate more through the starting line if you go like closer to that bottom left corner. Like more to the left for the first one. And then that allows you to shoot the second one earlier as well. Like, and cut in earlier. Yeah, it's a... Well, I, I'm not sure if I get it correctly, but yeah, the, the part of it is right. Because if you shoot in here, you're pretty much waiting... Let's say you're waiting the whole cooldown of Rocket and you already reach the start. Like, your timer already is up. And you're waiting, basically waiting for the cooldown to shoot the next rocket. And yeah. the, the the map, the map, ten seconds. Well, it's not even ten; it's like eight. It's pretty much a frame grind map. So I have to think. And the start uh, usually on the frame on the frame grind maps, the start is the most important thing you can improve to improve your time in general. True. So, so yeah, I'm saying you maybe if like shooting a rocket early and then early is uh, can be a bit uncomfortable for some reason and and maybe lower speed sometimes, but you can try closer. I mean, you you can try something in in the middle, and it still will be faster and. Uh, you have to <clears throat> you have to track where is the start line uh because uh, how to say uh so let's say you pretty much want to get the uh, and and also the why why green is bad because while you're doing ground boost you pretty much already reach the start so you so i'm not sure okay ah no 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 all right we're good sometimes start uh, can be closer in just in case we have to talk about it uh and uh, you have to think like if you're uh crossing this start line while you're in the ground boost in this case it makes sense to delay somehow like make make this ground boost happen before the start line you know what i mean so you will get the maximum speed while you're crossing the start in case if start closer 
some maps have this. So, I understand. It's just you know I, I I confuse strafing with weapons a lot because for strafing this is like it's much better to do the stuff that I did, and I don't know, man. I I know I'm wrong, but yeah, I cool. <laughs> I, just, I couldn't do the same speeds when starting early because when I do the circle jump, the circle jump I hit the wall, and just I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean we're 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 like uh, we're learning here, right? Nobody's saying you did the bad route or something like. If you felt uncomf more comfortable with these rockets, it's alright. But you have to understand like the basics, you know. So you have to. Next time you will think about it, maybe if you will remember that. But it's pretty much basic. Like you have to. You you wanna. Uh, the. the Let's say after start you want to do action as fast as possible that's the main thing i think i think like so yeah if you, if you if you can delay like this rocket super late it's always good because when you reach the when you cross the start line you're already shooting rocket yeah. 100%. And here is like so you should rock it like at forty something, right? Forty five hundred. And since this is a frame grind, if you can shoot the rocket at four hundred. Oh, I mean not forty five hundred. What it was? Is it right? Wait, forty five hundred. Four hundred fifty. How to say? Yeah, around that. I mean, no, no, no. How to say? Like, what if, is it? Is it? Fourteen hundred fifty. You're saying? Four hundred fifty. Fourteen hundred fifty. Or oh yeah, that's four hundred fifty. Yeah, sorry. But how to say? Oh wait, it's about thousands. Yes, right. All right. Never mind. I'm I'm being stupid. I'm as confused. always. Huh? You fired. <laughs> Dang. Right, so you, yeah. The the rest of the run cool. Again, could be could be will be cool to use Potsibashka there. And I then can't. I really can't. I tried so hard to use Potsibashka. <laughs> when I reach, it's too late. The the rocket stops me. Or I go too high. Aha, uh -huh. do you have uh, those demos? I think I I know what's the problem. Let's 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 talk over it. So you have a uh, 1k right speed, and you have vertical speed too, and the rocket speed in CPM is 1k, like 1000. Oh, here is 1000, right? 1k. At 1000. Yes, but it, well, yeah. All right. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> So if you shoot in, so you have to keep in mind, you have a, a round of, in case of mechanic speed, it will be much easier to get Potsubashka here, but at your speed, you have to like kind of think ahead that you have to shoot not where you look usually, because uh, like basically you're already looking to the place where you're going to shoot, right? You have to aim lower. And I, think I did. That, 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 I, I really did. <laughs> it's just well, hard. Yeah, it's it's not easy at this speed. Yeah, I can agree. So and you should you should get like more speed, maybe. Yeah? Sorry. Go ahead. No, no, wait. What did you say? Oh, I mean, like when I reach eleven hundred. I'm like, I go too fast down and like I shoot the rocket and it's the, like the, how do you call this? The, 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 the. Oh, it's like off cooldown? Cooldown. Yeah, that's it, man. The cooldown is, is not done yet and it's just late. Wait, I'm wonder. I'm a, I'm a wonder now. Let's see without it. so time scale can be 
be striked sometimes. No, I, I think I think Mihani could could do Potsebeshka. Let's see yours. Yeah, yeah so, so well sometimes it can be, yeah. If you're going down too like too fast, it can be like off cooldown with jumps. No off let's say off sync with with jumps. Well yeah. I just suck, that's it. No no no. We all suck. We all do. Yeah yeah. We we are all family of suckers, don't worry. So well, if you are off sync, I could tell you a couple of tech. Like techs. First, Potsibashka is not always shoot before jump. You can you can also shoot Potsibashka after jump. Probably you'll get less speed, but still you will get uh, uh, more control of your position in the space. It's a first one. So you have to, like, you, you can you, you shoot Patsibashka after jump. This is first. Second, here is a... This map is not a good example of doing this. And you better don't, but... While you're skimming the angle... Well, you're not really skimming, maybe a bit, right? You can, while you're skimming, you can shoot rocket after skim, like on this wall. Okay. What do you think? Sometimes it can be used. Oh, that's lower. Well, maybe. But, yeah. But you're right, because when I reach, uh, let's say, 1200, from the wall because uh, from the uh, from the ceiling I can reach 1200 and I I'm already here I land here already mm -hmm. like you so said, the, you, you the land here is too far for me wait what corner it, so you said the the corner on the right where you showing me before like you said shoot this yeah, you can shoot yeah. at the... And it will be better because you shoot in the wall, you basically can get like up to 400, even like 5 if you're going kind of straight. In this case, it's like 400 or 300 speed. It's more than you will get with rocket that you're shooting below, like off the floor. Right. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, but uh, sometimes like I don't... I'm, I land... You see where you, where your cursor is? I land like there, and I'm already far from the corner. When I have more speed. Yeah, in this case, just shoot after jump. I mean, what's the best? I never thought about after jump. Wow. Yeah, because like the so the all right. Let's let's kind of illustrate it. So your tra tra trajectory. My oh, fuck. Like, like that, let's say, right? I mean, let's draw it simple, like that, right? This is the floor. Wait, yellow is dog shit. The floor. So basically, you're shooting Patsibashka, let's say, here, and when you jump, rocket explode behind you, right? Yeah. <clears throat> but you shoot, if you shoot after jump, the, I mean, I don't know how to draw it correctly though. If you, if you shoot after jump, uh, the rocket's still able to explode behind you. It will be worse connection you with rocket because this is basically like rocket jump and this is not, but it's still able to give you pretty much same speed, but no high, like less high. And in this case, you don't really need a high. Which one is less high, sorry? This one is less high. Well, you get you can get less high from this one too if you shoot before this like this or like this is the jump, the jump. So this oh, is right. this this is before before you land, and this is after you land. Before you land, it, it depends when rocket explode explode like where. Uh, depends on your position, I guess. Because if it will explode uh, too far, you will get less high. 
like if it's too close you'll get more high there is some control of it so if it can uh if it explode let's say right after you jump behind you it can give you pretty much pr pretty good tra trajectory that you you will get some high and a lot of speed but you also can shoot before jump so you'll get uh speed but no high especially if you off cooldowns like if you're off sync with cooldowns and and uh, jump spacing but usually yeah it's more comfortable to shoot before jump for sure i think this drawing uh, make less and less uh, sense <laughs> I never thought about a rocket jump in my life this much. This is different between pros and average people. Well, but yeah, yeah I um, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's it's all about the practice, and we are here not about to say if you're bad or something. We we here for learn. We we are learning stuff from me. I mean, you are learning from me. Maybe I will learn something from you. Who knows? I'm learning from two, some English fancy words that I that I that I'm not able to to speak on YouTube. That's uh, good words. All right. Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. But uh, yeah, I mean, we, we we will get better examples of all of these things, I guess, because this map is short and uh, there is not much stuff to do. It's uh, pretty, let's say, ugly. In terms of consistency, especially finish, but uh, yeah, and the four bounds at the end, uh, yeah, four bounds is good. Rocket for six sixty. It's, like that, <laughs> it's all right. It's half. All right, and I have my demo. Let's see if I did anything I said. So yeah, I'm shooting early. Yeah, All right. Let's do the full speed. Oh, ah, that's pretty much anything I just said. <laughs> Oops. So yeah, let's let's explain the routing here. So about the start, we already did a speech, right? So we know what's happening here. Like fourteen hundred can can be a bit faster. So nine hundred, I mean like one k, pretty much. The rocket for fourteen hundred, good connection. And since, so I guess my thoughts was like while I'm while I was playing this like I, I was playing through and uh, construct the route. I guess I was realizing at some point that if you will go f like fast, your drop there, let's say, or. Uh, it's hard to land for Posibashka or something, so maybe I decide just stay up. And there is also if you go down super fast, you off sync with rocket cooldowns and jump, which is uncomfortable. So maybe kind of like some of anything was uh, cre was created by Tizarot. And you stay up and you well I guess you can you can drop faster here, right? Yeah. And uh, no ground boost. Yeah, no ground boost. I guess there is a a cooldown issue. I will guess. Ah, yeah, yeah, cool down. I couldn't. But yeah, I don't. 
do you have any questions? Uh, any something? I don't think so. Mm. There was actually Archon's demo as well somewhere on YouTube. He did the right wall road. Oh, yeah. I don't it's... remember what time he did. Something around 9.5. I tried, but it was kind of hard. He did the Patsibashka. Yeah, it's uh, 9.5. The start pretty much the same. The rockets are poor, poor rockets after a ramp, it's slow, and yeah, so he's doing ground boost and the uh, stick with the right wall. Yeah, it's uh, sometimes you could think you cannot do better uh, because you stuck with the wrong route right it it's it's happened a lot it's happened like every time because if let's say if you stack with these rockets after ramp and you you just you, you just don't think you have ch you have to change them so you will get different round next like next room uh and it causes the what the slow time i guess i mean slower than than you could do so why i'm saying that i don't know i mean you have to be flexible that's that's my that's that's why i try to think about like every time i play in the map which which doesn't really happen anymore for the past year i guess but you have to keep in mind being flexible. Don't really get used to any route. We already talked with Toots about it. Uh, like, on, I don't know, maybe for, for an hour. But the, the essence of this is... Uh, if you will get used to the route... Let's say Silly or pff, uh, City will be used to, to do only this start. And he trying different things after but it doesn't work and he thinks like well well maybe maybe it is like it is what it is right but like you have to i don't know like decompile map decompile your route by the t t take your what to say like the deconstruct your route by parts like the uh, let's say in in terms of this map it is like the double jump rocket, the, the the start rockets, double jump rockets, and the, the uh, tunnel rockets, and uh, like finish, right? So finish pretty much is OB or no OB. And uh, well, I'm lost again. I have a question. Yes. It's like a kind of a general one. Like I guess. Uh... When you when you're like a newer player and you're trying to make that decision between if your route needs to get faster by cleaner execution or if your route needs to change, do you have any advice in terms of like how to prioritize that and like knowing when to switch? Like is there it's like should you find a route that you think is good and then get that execution to a level where you feel like, you know, you need to change the route itself or are there points where when you're learning a route that you should know when to change it like what's the like do you have a like a i guess just a basic strategy for that this is how much new player is this is the question mm, you know what i mean okay because the if you're talking talking about the newer player like newbie you mean right yeah or less, even maybe like a experience. step up from maybe even a step up from new like newbie but still you know not like a 
mm. solid, you know, uh, strong defragger or something. Well, it's, I would say in, uh, there can be two things, I guess, about one we already talked about you, uh, with you, I guess, well, we talked with you about many, many things in defrag, mm -hmm. but the, the first one is experience. Uh, because the, the more map you played, the more different routes you did, the more different, let's say, things you did, the more kind of flexible you can be with routes. So you can, like, if you, if, if, if you already did something, it seems easier to try the same thing on a different map, right? Yeah, so like looking for patterns. Yeah. Okay. It's it's a first thing. So if you're less experienced experienced player, and you stuck with a route, you wanna you wanna try something faster. Like you wanna try to find a faster route. But you if you didn't have a large database in your head of what you can actually change to get faster route. Uh, you 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 don't really can do anything about it. That's what that's I grim. Think. <laughs> but yeah, I I get what you mean. I think that's reasonable. And the if you are talking about the experienced player, uh, how uh, so the the question generally was how to get if you need to change route. Yeah, yeah. I'm always looking for. Like for me, it's pretty much always the limitations of the map. That's what we talked about with you uh, one day before. Okay, <clears throat> like when, the things when, that when, need to happen. Uh, no, no, no. The, uh, so if you will see behind a crowd, for example, right, and. Uh, you so you can go faster before but if you go faster and doing the same second part you can uh, like bump this wall let's say right Bef before rocket this is the limitations of this map you know what I mean? okay yeah, yeah but yeah. that's depending on your skill is like if you're not good you will never reach that limitation. Right, yeah. There's there's yeah. that, like, I guess, so is part of all of this too, like, to, to make that decision about changing your route or your execution, you kind of have to just have an honest assessment of what your execution level is at and know that there's room for improvement if you're, like, not at a certain level, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess. Defrag is complicated. But... So if you meet this this limitation, and it can be anything, like it can be, uh, it can be much much difficult than this one because this one is pretty simple, like because map is simple. You have just rockets and uh, let's say a turn. You can control high. If you're not con if you're not gaining more speed, that's it. You just control high, like you can. Uh, go higher of the roof. You can even shoot with crouch of the roof, so it will like keep yourself much higher for the longer distance. Uh, but if there is a wait, what was uh, the previous map was the fucking dog shit. Fuck eighty. I'm I'm uh, trying to think about the good example of like when you. Well, basically, it's uh, it reveals on complicated maps like the Frag World Cup maps when you. <clears throat> All right, let's let's say if you meet these limitations, we, you have to. If you meet some limitations, like you you stuck. If you're going faster, you just don't know what to do. Then you don't have to think like what you can change here in a moment 
in terms of defrag, you can change nothing in the moment. Like if you will think like mm, maybe I should like shoot the previous rocket lower, higher, something like that. It's it's kind of wrong thing you can do. So what what you can do right is uh, going far back back. You have to think back like you have to think what you can change from from the pre previous rocket because this is what affects your next rocket i mean and if this this doesn't work you have to think farther back you know what i mean like you you, you just have to like re rewind your demo backwards in your uh, let's say in your head well, not demo, but your playthrough. And try to change every, every stage of your uh, playing process, I guess. I guess like that. Okay. Oh, well, it's a, it's a poor explanation, I think. But yeah, and so it's a hard question. Yeah, yeah. In, so in general, if you're less experienced player, you you can do nothing. Let's say like that. If you're experienced player, you're just trying to change something. Like uh, this is the this is more about the imagination, like and about the experience. If you if you played a lot, you can do a lot of things. You can do a lot of different things, a lot of different rockets, because even like the Arcan route with ground boost from the floor. You you couldn't even imagine that be because you never did it or you never seen it. This is like you you cannot you you cannot imagine that. So, so I guess based the, the, on huh? Yeah, based on experience, it's like for for strafe. Uh, normally, um, how 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 do you change? is um having the best speed and doing as less jumps as possible and sometimes like you can go faster but you're wider and that makes you slower it's like you think it, you have some basic principles like yeah you, you can go wide here but you're slower then it's not very good you can actually i don't know keep the same speed but less jumps and you're faster this way Sometimes the map doesn't make sense. Just like if you remember, we played cool, the cool map. Yeah. It makes you feel like you're shit just because, <laughs> just because you're, you think you're going faster, but it's not. It's, it's actually touching the ramp. Like the principles is touching the ramp at the end is the fastest way, right? Yeah. But for that cool map, is at the beginning of the ramp is the fastest way. Yeah. It, yeah. I yeah. would say it depends on the map. As usual, <clears throat> but yeah, I think so. How can you fix your experience gain? Easy, just, just I don't know if you. Well, it, I think it depends on the people, like on the person. It's like the what? Yeah, it de depends on the person mind, I guess. You just tr try something that you never done before. That's one of the ways you can. Uh, increase your experience gain through playing defrag yes just just turn on imagination it was like the the good example of imagination was when uh, if you remember the frag world cup 2019 the last map when almost at the end there is a, a ground boost on to slick Mm -hmm. It was like never happened. I mean, at least for me, I like never done something like that. But I knew you can ground boost and skim the wall. So that was the reason I tried that. So you have to try different things. That's pretty much. Uh, well, it, this map, again, this map is the worst example, the worst example of trying different things because it's short and is pretty much simple but i f i hope we will get some complicated map one day after straight after the next straight i guess
and it's also your mentality as a gamer. It's like how much time you spend gaming and shit. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. If you don't really play it a lot, uh, you will grow pretty slow, but it's fine. Like, uh, as f uh, as long as you're interested in these reviews, guys, it's like it's all for you. It's not for me. I'm. I'm we did this review, we, we, like without the actual rec recordings for YouTube. I mean, public recordings for what like for a year or something right <laughs> on and off probably yeah yeah so yeah as long as you're interested and it helps you i'm happy if you're and I'm, i have like no requirements right uh, i'm not saying like next map you should do something different like uh, uh, this is this is dog shit we don't do that i just share my experience and wise thoughts so you can use them later hopefully all right yeah that's it I Just hope. spending times with the pros is enough. <laughs> hearing you talk is enough. Well, I, I guess I will explain some things much better on Russian, but it's all right. Uh, One last question, sorry. Yes. Do you ever use the compass? No. All right. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, no problem. Uh, any any questions? More more questions? No questions? No, thank you, Woody. Yeah, thank you guys for joining. Thanks. Uh, was it helpful somehow? Definitely. All the time. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, what about me, Heinick? You good? I mean, I, I'm just worried if, if uh, you know, if you like, you like, you like, you like, you Как тебе? Полезно, не полезно, интересно, не интересно вот это вот. Mm, да, я думаю, полезно, потому что все-таки тут можно сразу все пояснить и по мне понять, где ошибки. Ну, главное спрашивать, если что, потому что я могу не все, так сказать, это какие-то вещи могу упустить. Если есть какой-то вопрос, лучше спросить. Даже если это глупый вопрос, как тут обычно спрашивают всякие глупые вопросы. Ну ладно. Uh, right, uh, I guess... Why? I guess we, we, we've done. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you.